Hi, I'm Ines, and I'm going to be sharing with you three marketing tactics to increase your B2B brand awareness this year. So as you brand awareness is the first step in the buyer's journey. It is crucial because without it, we don't have the rest. We don't have people interested in our offer, whether that's a service or product, and we don't have anybody buying. So basically that's the first touch point that your target audience has with your brand. And then from that point on, we'll decide if they are interested in what you have to offer. And it is more than just uh, putting your logo and name out there because your brand is so much more than that. It is how your customers perceive you and how they perceive your service uh, or your product and how you can truly help them. So um, it is important to take some time to reflect on what are the marketing strategy that you have already uh, implemented in your business in order to create more brand awareness, but also how you can leverage it in 2021. And so that's what we're going to dive in today. So first of all, the first step would be to create content that is praising your customers. So we all have like feedback from customers saying, oh yeah, I love your product or your services. That was super helpful. That helped us with X, Y, and Z. But if that's just kept in conversation, like on email or video call, that's great. We have great feedback. We can improve uh, our service or product, but then nobody gets to see it. And it is actually very important to showcase this type of content because it has been shown that more than 80% of consumers will trust more their peers' advice over advertising. That's what they want. They want um, something that is honest and what can be more honest than a review from another person that has been going through the same challenges that they've been uh, or the company and have been able to solve it with your product or service. So you don't have to ask this from your customer to do an intentionally a testimonial. Maybe you will receive them via uh, email and you can just reply to that email and say, uh, thank you so much for the feedback. We're so glad that this is working so well for you. I was wondering if you would not mind if we use your uh, words in our social media or on our website to help showcase how our service or product can help other people like you or the companies like you should I say? And another way is to then just use Canva. Canva is totally free. And I just typed in like testimonial when I looked at for creating a new, uh, new design and this template came out and then you just can change anything here. You can change, uh, the text, the background, anything. And then you have this testimonial made in two seconds, but what is even more powerful is to actually take a video testimonial, especially if you have a call and during that call, you have your client talking about how the product or service has helped them, then if that call has been saved and you have their consent, uh, that can be easily edited because it's going to be part of a longer video. And so what I like to use is milk video. And here I've already logged in here and I have actually uploaded a few videos and I have this one that is like a testimonial from a, a client and I'm just going to remove those clips and and then what's really cool is that I have the whole transcript of the whole call. So I don't have to rewatch it to know exactly what was the point where the person gave a very good feedback and testimonial our company or service. And all I have to do is to just take, highlight the part that I want and then use clip section C. And that will actually just create a snippet and that will cut uh, the video exactly where I want. I want it. So let me do it again here clip section C. And then here I can create that video and that will pop up with like different options. I can use landscape square. I can choose where I want the subtitles to be. Let's say I would like it like that and change even the colors. And then that you can download it straight away like that. And then you can use that on social media to share that user content, uh, user generated content uh, to build your brand awareness. And so that's one then second of all is to give your company a face so by that i mean that it is a b2b interaction meaning business to business but 
business are made of people and people build a relationship with people more than with just a brand. And you can definitely create a relationship with your target audience by actually putting a face onto your brand. And that can be just in the way you like portray yourself on social media and having somebody always like having using the product or the service or explaining it. You can use that on YouTube as well by showcasing the same through videos and not just like uh, photos, but creating that relationship with uh, your target audience so that they can remember it more easily and have that really that relationship with your brand is going to help you build that brand awareness and trust more importantly. So um, I have a cool um, example here with Verizon, who has been like <laughs> using hey, the same guy hey, for like different um, ad. You can see, okay, let me see. Here like is somebody like, needs a new network. Is the uh, same guy. We'll come to you. <laughs> and that, like through the stories that you tell through your advertisement and marketing efforts, then if you keep on using that same person, then people will automatically associate that person with your brand and make it more uh, personal and and more authentic because we're all people and we are all in the business of creating more relationships um, and more meaning. This is a big one and you can do that by recording yourself with Loom like I'm doing right now that's super easy or just using your phone and then edit your video just like I showed you uh, with Milk Video. That would be an option. And then last one would be to reach out to trusted content resources. So it's, it's good to have social media and your website where you can build your brand awareness. Of course, you're going to talk about your products and services, but then you are narrowed down to the existing audience that you have. And the goal with brand awareness is to build it to uh, more people so that more people get to know about your brand and how you can help them. And the fastest way to do that is to actually be featured in uh, trusted content sources. That means that first of all, the first action would be to look at your industry and what are the trusted content sources in your research, in your industry that your target audience is using to look for information. And once you have a list of these places, whether they're online magazine or specific websites or even events and stuff like that, then you can look at who is behind it, like who is writing all these articles, uh, who is behind a certain company, and then start creating relationships. So this is a long-term game because you need to create trust with those people who are part of these content, content sources. And once you start maybe following them on Twitter, a lot of journalists on Twitter, so following them, interacting with their content, introducing yourself without uh, being pushy or trying to sell yourself first of uh, first and foremost, then just like creating that relationship will help you then be featured in the long term in those trusted content sources. But if you feel like this is too much of a hassle and you're ready, you want to do this right now, I have a solution for you and it's called uh, Help a Reporter Out. So this website, you can just go and say, I'm a source, and then you will be able to choose your industry and you will receive email morning and night, uh, twice a day with lots of journalists from all types of companies you can be featured in all those amazing newspaper and you will receive like a bunch of requests and you will be able to see oh maybe i fit into that category and then you can pitch your product or service and how you can help them like create that piece so that's a very cool tool and it's totally free so these are the three <laughs> Uh, marketing tactics to build your B2B brand awareness in 2021. Let me know if you've already done one of them, if one has been more successful than another one, or if something you're curious about and you would like to ask, just pop it in the comment below and I'll see you in the next one.